Mm-hmm. Okay. You need so full we, screen? Are you about to go in? I just want to get your opinion real quick. Okay. Before we get into this, do you believe that there is a trucker shortage? No. I, bl- oh. I, bl- I believe if, the, if there was a trucker shortage, it would end if they actually paid truckers. Trucker, I, I believe that it should be switched to the average trucker should take home $1,800 a week. Period. Okay. I'm, I'm talking about from company up. Yeah. It, like it, should, it. it should be $1,800 a week. If it was around eighteen dollars to $2,000 a week, drivers would feel like it's a worth it thing. But they, you have drivers walking away with $700, $1,100. And the truth is they can find more lucrative stuff to do at home. Before, there was nothing at home that would pay you this much. Now, there's shit at home that will pay you that much. So it's like, why am I going to be OTR? Why am I going to drive a truck? So just to put a solid number to it, you feel like, uh, your average company driver should be making seventy thousand plus a year. Absolutely, absolutely. And and and, and the funny thing is, they should be making mm-hmm. that, and that's still not enough to live in the major city they live in. Right. Realistically, you need to be making eighty five, ninety. Honestly, 80. I ain't gonna say ninety. I'm gonna say ninety five to a hundred. To and live you won't you, you won't have a savings in a major city. You'll be able yeah. to live, but you won't have a savings. That's enough for you. Yeah, you like, you have a dope crib, but you'll be broke. Yeah, you'll be broke. <laughs> you'll be broke. It's <laughs> like you'll go to the bar. That yeah. Friday and the rest of the weekend, you'll be in the house. Oh, yeah. Because we do know now in Denver, you know, you're going to need a bag to live in Denver. You're going to need a bag <sighs> to live in L.A. You're going to need a bag to live in Miami. You're going to need a bag to live in Atlanta. Most of the black guys from Atlanta, Houston. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to need a hundred to live where you want to in those cities. Right. So I, I feel like if y'all, the re, if there is a shortage, let's say we believe you there's a shortage. There's a shortage is you don't want to pay the drivers, so drivers don't think it's worth it. And it's not right. if you're going to pay me. Right. Because when we go to over to Love's Hall and Fuel, they're not having a problem getting people. <laughs> if anything, they're they're trying to beat people down with that waiting list. Come on now. So, you know, uh, you know you, it's not a problem when y'all pay. The problem is that General Freight believes you sh- you don't do no work. You don't deserve any money. Right. And people are getting hip to it and they're just not doing it. And I give you another angle, too. When you didn't did this for so long. The guys whose kids are reaching 21, they're telling them not to get into it. Oh, absolutely. I I can't tell you how many first generation truckers that are like, oh, my kids are doing this in tech or they're going to medical school or they're going to be a lawyer. They're doing anything that has nothing to do with trucking. Yes. They're telling their kids it's not worth it. That means that y'all have been raping and stealing for so long. They're not you're supposed the, the the social agreement has always been you work here, you liked it here for 20, 30 years, you bring me your children. Yeah. That's how it usually goes. But now yeah, the, the old saying was uh, you do what your father did. You, you know? do what your father did. Now when he says, Oh, dad, I like your truck. No, you're not gonna be a truck, you're gonna be something else. That's because yeah. you've been treating people so long, you've been raping them for money for so long that people aren't willing to put their kids in that position. Who would? Exactly. Who would, man? Come on now. We, we Y'all know the truth. Especially not when you have trades like, and I, it's so slept on. I don't get why people, more people don't get into this, but things like plumbing, oh, yeah. electrician, HVAC. Welding. Welding. Oh, my God. Man, if I could go back in time. Granted, I love what I do. Been doing it for almost a decade. I'm not doing nothing else. But I'm telling you, <laughs> anybody that is either 21, you know, early 20s, even 18 that hasn't gotten their class A yet. I mean, still get it you because because you can use it in other industries. Mind you, I'm not saying don't get your CDL. Right. But I'm telling you, if you can go into welding or HVAC. Yeah. You I have a near infinite. You have a near infinite amount of opportunity. And, and the pay is, I mean, granted, yes, for any career, like you spoke about, uh, I believe it was last week, regardless of what field you get into, you're going to be broke for two years. So just, just take yeah, the L. You know there's no ducking. There's no ducking that. Like you just got to be an apprentice. Right. But if you can make it past those two years, oh my uh, goodness. Heavy equipment operation. <laughs> Crane place, operator. The places we're naming, they all yeah. have union houses all over the country. Yes. Benefits, you'll be well taken care of. Your health Benefits, will be better. Retirement. Yeah, the lifestyle will be better. I mean, for y'all that let love to be in the street, let it be outside, as the young people say. 
I'm telling you, going into some of these other these other trades, like I said, I'm not saying don't get your CDO if that is the best yeah, option. Some for you of them you still it. have to get your CDO. Yes, new, but especially I, things like electrician, you're still going to be driving a, a Class B, if not Class B train. You still need your CDO yeah. Class A, and they will right. get it for you. But understand, your 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 job is a little bit different. But the truth is, y'all would have more people. If they look, the reason why people don't go into your field is because the generation that's there now has looked at the generation before and said, I don't want to be in that position. Right. That's what happened. And that happened because y'all put more of the money at the top and you didn't pay the people who's who's paying the bills, really. That's the right. Just quitting. They're just like, I don't want to do this. And, and they're going home and just doing something else. Yeah. Which they can do because, you know, wh why would I stay and not make money? Exactly. That's, that's one thing I don't understand about our industry. There's some good companies out there, but there's a lot of raggedy companies like Tradition, Raggedy, uh, Hurricane, Raggedy, Ugh. Beautiful Trucks, Raggedy Company. Listen, Roadrunner, Raggedy. raggedy. <laughs> Come on, man. There's a lot of them out there, bro. Yeah. You know, Ashley Furniture, Raggedy, bro. JR Shugel, Raggedy. Hey guys, this is Just Phil TV coming to you from the Trucking Report exclusively on Rumble with Trucker Brown. You know where to hit it, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Find us exclusively on Rumble if you want to catch these episodes live. Trucker Brown here. I'm just here to remind you that we are on Patreon and it does help out the channel. Thanks to all the people who subbed to the Patreon this weekend. I appreciate you. New content is coming there. And these clips that I'm giving you are from the exclusive Trucker Report live that I do with Phil, which is linked at the bottom on rumble tv uncut so i appreciate y'all love the support if you like the content man hit the buttons let me know thanks for coming to the patreon